Hey guys, what's up? Garrett here. I'm so excited. Uh, yesterday, I just picked up this. A 1991 Mazda Miata. Uh, I picked it up from a kid up north for about 1800 bucks. Uh, needs a little bit of TLC on it. I'll, uh, I just got back from the registry. I, I got it registered, it is drivable. Uh, there's just a few things I have to do to it. And I'll, uh, so yeah, let me just uh, walk around. They uh, do a little walk around here. So uh, here we go. As you can see, it's, uh, take a look at the outside. I know it's uh, a little bit of wear, a uh, little bit of uh, obviously some paint coming off there but I'm not gonna do yet to that yet uh, dent right there but I'll have that buffed out down the line again uh, not a priority so uh, still has the uh, still has 14 inch wheels on it uh, I do plan on uh, swapping those out uh, I'll probably uh, replace them with 15s or 16s uh, but I'm told I might need to roll the fenders in order to do that. Uh, so, uh, that's, that's, uh, something for another day. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, however what I am, one of the first things I'm gonna do is I am gonna replace this rear panel. As you can see, uh, missing piece right there. Some, uh, some it's uh, it's broken. I did uh, put in. I did order a uh, a new one. Uh, hopefully that'll arrive in the next week or two. Um, so I'm gonna. Ha I did order it in the right color. Uh, and now on the inside of the car. Uh, still has the original seats, uh, but uh, as I was driving it on the way, uh, as I was driving it back, it was uh, a little out of place. Um, uh, the problem was uh, it, uh, yeah, it just didn't feel like it was holding me right. So uh, I am gonna, I am gonna replace that. Uh, I am gonna replace at least the driver's seat with either a racing bucket or a sport bucket. Um, but obviously the main thing right now is uh, the, uh, the gas gauge doesn't work. Um, so today I'm gonna have the, uh, the sending and, and uh, the sender and, and uh, fuel pump unit uh, tested to, to determine whether I need to replace it or it can just be fixed. Uh, I'm gonna uh, show a uh, I'm gonna show a mechanic uh, that I that I work with and and uh, he'll uh, he'll do that. And also the uh, this uh, this radio uh, wasn't uh, wasn't installed properly. It's, uh, it's, it's loose, as you can see, uh, it's being held in. So I also ordered a, uh, a, uh, a unit for the, uh, for the center stack. I'm going to replace that. Uh, um, hopefully that I'm also, I'm also, uh, waiting for that to come in. So I'm also going to put a set of performance gauges in there, uh, at least a uh, an oil temperature, I'm sorry, an oil pressure and water temperature gauge, uh, and uh, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do for the third one. Um, either either I'll put in a uh, either a voltmeter. Um, I might get an uh, a set of uh, uh, auto meter. Uh, a set of, of three automator, auto meter uh, performance gauges, uh, which does include a voltmeter and the two others I mentioned. Um, 
or I might just get the other two uh, individually and then and then figure out what to do with the third one maybe leave it blank and put a put my own panel over it or maybe I'll put a, a secondary clock in there that's um that's what I'm uh, considering right now but yeah this is one of the uh, this is another thing I gotta do obviously the shifter the shift boots a little torn but not a big deal uh, not a big deal that's uh that I can um, that I can uh, worry about later maybe I'll replace the shift knob or I'll just and I'll just take out the uh, the boot entirely because um, yeah eventually uh, eventually I plan on uh, evolving it it's gonna evolve into a uh, possibly a to a track car I might put a uh, I might put a roll bar in it I might put uh, as well as uh, as well as maybe um, As well as some, uh, as well as some other performance goodies, uh, probably uh, some high performance brakes, uh, adjustable suspension. Uh, I'll probably put a larger rear sway bar on, uh, and um, so yeah, it's 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 going to be a long term project, uh, and uh, and I'm really excited to uh, get started on it. Um, so. Uh, so yeah, over the next uh, so over the next uh, several years, um, uh, what you see here is um, is uh, gonna turn into uh, is gonna turn into something special. I'm 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 really excited about it. I, I hope you uh, I hope you'll uh, stay tuned and 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 keep track of my progress. Uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, so, uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep posting videos. I'm going to keep, uh, so I, and, and, you know, if you have any feedback, any, any, uh, any advice for me, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I know there's a big community of Miata guys out there. So, uh, I, and I look forward to, uh, hearing, uh, from all of you. So, uh, so thanks. And, uh, so thanks and yeah let's get started i fixed the gas gauge looks like the problem was looks like the problem was that the that it needed new wiring so see yeah right there see it's working now so it looks like the problem was the wiring it needed new wiring uh, fortunately, I didn't have to replace the entire sending unit. Uh, that would have cost me 150 bucks, give or take 20, 20 or 30. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we got that out of the way. Yeah, there are still some panels I have to put back on, but but the and I did lose some screws that I need to find new ones. But but uh, that's fine. I can. That's that's easy. It's just uh, I'm just glad uh, we were finally able to fix that gas gauge. So um, yeah, next obviously we got to do the uh, the center stack and that rear panel. Um, that's that and that'll be it for phase one. Uh, so uh, so that's it for today and uh, and yeah, see you next time.